Hey, what's up guys? Tay Slays here, and today we're going to be talking about Clash. It has been a week since it has been added, and I've played it pretty extensively over this time period. Today I want to go over how I feel about Clash as a whole, what I think it does right, and what I think it could do better, and whether or not I think it's a mode that should be an LTM or a permanent mode. There's a lot to talk about here, so let's jump straight into it. First things first, I want to say that I love Clash and I think this is a great addition to Spellbreak that makes it feel more like a completed product. Since the update, I have only queued for Battle Royale maybe once or twice. It is for this reason I do believe Clash should stay as a permanent mode, but I do think there are some adjustments that should be made to make it feel more flushed out and less of an LTM. I've noticed that I enjoy the pacing of Clash a lot more compared to Battle Royale, but that isn't to say the pacing is perfect. I think that is one area where it can improve. Currently, you have a looting phase at the beginning of the match that overall feels pretty pointless and is really the only part that gets boring. I honestly think that they should embrace the TDM aspect of Clash and allow us to create loadouts at the main menu. You would pick your main hand, off hand, talents, and rune. Everyone would enter the map with the circle already showing. Every player should have epic rarities of all their loot with legendaries only coming from mina vaults that spawn in and around the circle. You could still swap off hand gauntlets and runes off enemy bodies, but it makes the looting portion of the rounds much shorter. I also think the storm closes a little too slowly. I think the damage is fine, but I do think they should force people to move to the circle faster since looting wouldn't take practically any time at all. I think Clash is a great mode for beginner players and for improving at gauntlets you might struggle with. I've noticed that I've gotten substantially better with Pyro because of the sheer amount of engagements you get in Clash. There is so much you can learn in so little time. You get more fights in 10 minutes than you would in 10 BR matches. It's like that typical shounen anime training arc where they give the main character a small amount of time to gain a bunch of power or experience. The best training comes from experience and Clash is the perfect place to get of a lot of experience in a very short amount of time. If you quit Spellbreak, I highly advise you to come back and give Clash a try. Spellbreak is struggling currently to keep new players because some of them just can't get past the large skill gap that has formed between the player base and the rookies. This is another reason why I believe for for the new player experience, it is best that Clash stays and becomes a permanent mode. It is the perfect training ground for new players. Another thing I've noticed in my time playing is that Clash currently lacks build diversity and I think there are a few reasons for this. The number one culprit is scavenging. Because of the lack of potions in Clash, which to address it, I do believe it should stay without potion spawns. It also makes scavenging almost essential if you don't want to die a bunch. The best way I can think to alleviate this would be to give everyone a form of scavenging on exile. I don't believe it should be 50 health and shield and more like 25 or 30 health and shield. If they are unable to make this change clash specific and they would have to add this to the game as a whole, it should be somewhere around 20 health and shield. This would free up the body rune slot and also nerf a talent that could be considered overpowered even after its recent nerf. Recovery has some solid secondary options so I don't believe it's as big of an issue as scavenging, but it's also pretty dominant in the third slot considering ambidextrous isn't as good as we all expected, and thirsty is useless in this game mode. I would be interested to see if the dead team can actually balance the modes separately and I think they would benefit from individual treatment. I'm sure you guys have played it enough, you've noticed the meta of Clash is very different from BR. Condo is at the top of the mountain in BR but struggles to get the same results in Clash because of how many enemies you are fighting at one time. Conduits need time to focus on one player and take them out. Pyro has risen to the top of the mountain for this very reason. The damage per shot of Pyro and the splash damage makes it perfect for Clash. Toxicologist is a close second because it's really hard to track an invis toxic player while you're getting fireballed and stoned by his buddies. I love that Clash has a different meta, and I think if they embraced this it would be better for the player base as a whole. It would allow you to change up your gameplay and pace if you are getting bored of a certain meta in one of the playlists. For example, if you can't stand Conduit, it'd be better right now for you to play Clash because it's way less oppressive there. If you get tired of being fireballed 24-7 then you could switch back to BR where Pyro is still good but once again not as impressive. To summarize, I really do think Clash is a great mode and I think they're really onto something with this. They could almost make an entirely separate portion of Spellbreak with more traditional multiplayer modes like Clash and TDM. Well, I've got an action-packed 28 kill game with Pyro I'm going to play for the rest of this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of Clash, what you liked, what improvements you'd like to see them make. If you guys did enjoy this one, don't forget to like and subscribe as it is the best way to help me out. But until next time, Breakers, I'll see you. See you.
see you in the Hollowlands.